I never knew studying could be this much fun. Me neither. Let's study some more. <laughs> You know, Catherine, going out with you's been great. Thanks, Jackson. And the best thing about dating a blind girl is, I can have a bad hair, Dean. You'll never know. <laughs> Come on, you don't have bad hair days. You're the best looking guy in school. How can you be so sure? You keep telling me. <laughs> I'm telling you, Christian, that girl was hitting on me. <laughs> she wasn't hitting on you, Les. She was hitting you. <laughs> Please, you had her hands all over me. They were around your neck. She was choking you. <laughs> you just don't know women. Guys, we're kind of in the middle of something here. Oh, no problem. You don't bother us. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. You guys aren't leaving, are you? Thursday, Friday, happy days. I gotta go. See you tonight at Libby Strew. Okay, so let me walk you to the door. Oh, thanks. I'm fine. Okay. Oh, man, Potsy was just about to sing. <laughs> Guys, I gotta talk to you. Tonight at dinner, I'm gonna tell Catherine something very personal. You mean that you cried during Free Willy? <laughs> no, I mean, I love you, Christian. I love you too, Jackson, but what about... <laughs> oh, I got it. I gotta admit, I'm kinda nervous. What's the worst that can happen? Well, she could excuse herself, sneak out the ladies' room window, move to Yucca, Arizona, to where she balloons up to about 400 pounds, <laughs> and sells fried dough at a state fair. <laughs> it could happen. Girls, I just picked up 12 of the hottest guys in Paris. Behold, the men of Paris calendar. <laughs> Twelve of the hottest guys in France. I'll be the judge of... Hello. Oh. I can't believe you two drooling all over that filthy rack. Hey. Winnie, what kind of calendar is that? What calendar? Stop living a lie, Winnie. She's looking at a beefcake calendar. A calendar that represents all that is tawdry and wrong with this world. <laughs> oh, oh, woo. That calendar! <laughs> The man of Paris? Why do you need those guys when you have me? Oh, Christian, honey. You're not actually gonna be jealous of me looking at a little old calendar, are you? Yes. Fine, then I'll look at it in the common room. <laughs> I just got an idea. All right, this is a really good one, so he's all better sit down. All right, you're right, standards better. <laughs> We're gonna make our own hunk of the month calendar just like the men of Paris. That is a good idea. All we need are some hot, hunky, beefy guys. All right, stop begging. I'll do it. <laughs> hey, but it's got to be tasteful. I'm not wearing no bikini. <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, little man, but I think Lauren was talking about beefy guys like me. Whatever gets you through tonight. <laughs> Jackson, you've been acting strangely all night. Is there something on your mind? Something you want to say? Who, me? <laughs> No, there's nothing I want to say. I mean, if I had something to say, I'd say it. Catherine. Yes? I've got something to say. <laughs> Actually, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. No, wait, wait. I want to go first. I got to get this off my chest. I love you. <laughs> there, I said it. I love you, and I don't care who knows it. In fact, I want everyone to know it. I love Catherine Hanley. Jackson Green loves Catherine Hanley! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's really happy for us. <laughs> well, I told you how I feel, so how do you feel? I feel like going back to the dorms. That's not exactly the reaction I expected. I'm sorry. Please take me home. Gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. Thanks, guys. The pictures are going to be great. See you in the calendar. Oh, and uh, I want to see Mr. November tonight at 7. Uh, why is that? Do we need more shots? No. I just want to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Mr. October. <laughs> Ready? Sure. Thanks, Christian. These pictures are going to be terrific. Hey, guys. 
I got the film. You can start taking the pictures now. What? You mean I just shot the pictures with an empty camera? Oh, no. Oh, yes. We get to do this all over again. Oh, boys! Elliot is on the 18th green. All that stands between him and the trophy is a difficult six-inch putt. <laughs> the crowd goes silent. He swings. It's in! It's in! Elliot wins the tournament! He wins! He wins! <laughs> what are you doing? This is my office. I ask the questions. <clears throat> what brings you here, Mr. Green? I need some advice about a girl. I'm an expert at matters of the heart. I'm mature, experienced, dashing. It's pretty obvious why you came to me. <laughs> Actually, I went to Christian Lazzarini first. Then you came to me. No, then I talked with Sal, the janitor, and then... What's your problem, Mr. Green? <laughs> it's about Captain Hanley. See, we've been dating, and last night I told her I love her. I didn't realize you were that serious about her. I don't think she did either. I'm not sure what to do. I know this is difficult, Jackson, but you must not be too hard on Catherine. After all, switching schools can be a major change. Switching schools? Well, of course, she's been accepted to the Chicago School for the Blind. She didn't tell me that. Oh, really? I assumed you knew. Catherine, can we talk? Sure. I was just admiring the view. Hey, that was supposed to be a joke. Look, I talked to Mr. Elliot. He told me you're leaving to go to school in Chicago. I'm sorry. I didn't want you to find out this way. When were you going to tell me? At Le Bistro the other night, but then you... Then I made a fool of myself. You didn't make a fool of yourself. You just surprised me. Truth is, Jackson, I love you, too. You do? Yeah, I do. A lot of good that does us now. You're leaving in three days. I don't know what to say. I do. Goodbye. Goodbye, but... Come on, Catherine. Let's not make this hard on ourselves. There's no point dragging it out. Face it. We're history. Ladies, your hunk of the month calendars have arrived. <laughs> Let me see one of them things. Let me see. Ooh, Cameron's looking good. Okay, I like Gabe. Yeah, okay. There's Christian. Scott got it going on. <laughs> Christian? What are you doing in here? I wanted to surprise you. I thought you'd like it. And, uh, where'd you learn to pose like that? From my Uncle Helmut. He was a hand model. <laughs> a hand model? Well, what do you expect from a man who has no feet? <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. I just realized something. Now, pretty soon, Christian's muscles are gonna be on the wall of every girl's room on campus. <laughs> I know. At 10 bucks a calendar, we're looking at, a uh, hmm, carry to two. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> well, I'm not sure I like all these girls drooling over my man. But, Winnie, didn't you say it was crazy to be jealous about a little old calendar? No, never said that. <laughs> sure you did. I remember it distinctly. It was precisely 2.30 on Wednesday. <laughs> I even wrote about it in my diary. I'll go get it. <laughs> oh, Ashley, don't make me hurt you. <laughs> don't worry, there's more than one hunk to go around. From now on... <laughs> Call me Mr. February. <laughs> How did you get in there? I was on my way to the printers when I realized that we were one hunk short, so presenting one short hunk. <laughs> Thank 
Jax. I've never seen you so bummed. What are you talking about? I'm not bummed. I'm totally over Catherine. I mean, if she walked in right now, it wouldn't bother me. Really? There she is. I gotta get out of here. Jackson, is that you? I have to stop wearing that cologne. <laughs> I think we should talk. Think about what? You said goodbye. I'm not leaving for two days. This is silly. Catherine, it's for the best. It's too painful seeing you, and I know I'm gonna lose you. But maybe it's worth it. Think of all the great stuff we could do together. We could walk in the park, we could eat dinner, listen to music. You're right. I've been acting stupid. We can make these last two days something to remember. Oh, and there's one other thing we can do. Mm, what's that? Study. <laughs> I just don't like the idea of all these girls in your picture. I mean, you're making a big deal out of nothing. No one's even noticed I'm in the calendar. Look, everybody! It's Mr. October! <laughs> Mr. October, would you sign my calendar? Sure, what's your name? Carmela Sofia Ana Maria Consuela Bactagliano. <laughs> Smith. Dear Smitty, love ya. Christian. Uh, love ya? It's an expression. Not one you'll be hearing anytime soon. <laughs> Guys, here comes Catherine. Turn off the lights and hide. Christian, she's blind. <laughs> okay, then leave the lights on and stay where you are. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> we decided to throw you a little farewell party. Guys, this is so sweet. Here, we got you a little going away yeah. present. It's a braille guide to Chicago. Now, we want to make sure you knew all the hot spots in town. You know, where to dance, where to eat. Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, this restaurant looks good. How do you know? The food critics gave it four bumps. <laughs> Catherine, come here. I got you this bracelet. Oh. I love it. I don't know what I'm gonna do without you. I don't know either. I can't believe I finally met someone as great as you and now I have to say goodbye. You don't have to. What do you mean? Well, these past couple of days have made me realize we belong together. I can't leave. I'm gonna stay at the academy with you. <laughs> hey! Whew. Get to work. I can't sign any more calendars. My fingers are cramping up. Hey, you owe it to your fans. They paid an honest buck. They deserve an honest signature. Can't you just sign my name? Sure, <laughs> suckers. <laughs> hey, guys, what should I take with me on a picnic to the French countryside, huh? Me, I'm starving. <laughs> I'm going with Catherine. We're gonna celebrate her staying in Paris. Okay, she can come too, but make sure you bring extra sandwiches. Hey. Hey, Mr. Prey, have you seen Mr. February yet? Oh, little boy has become a man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for Catherine. I want to congratulate her on being accepted to school in Chicago. I'm not sure where she is. She but... must be thrilled. She's been on the waiting list for over a year. She has? Yes, it's the top school in the country. It will improve her chances of getting into a good college. Really? It's the chance of a lifetime. <laughs> if you see her, congratulate her for me. <clears throat> want me to sign one for you? Oh, stop toying with me, Lazzarini. Do you mean it? No. <laughs> hey, Jackson. Catherine gave up the chance of a lifetime just to be with you. She must be really psyched. Yeah, really psyched. Quick, lock the door! <laughs> Guys, what happened? A bunch of girls tore my clothes off trying to get me to sign a calendars. They went off to you too, Lance? Oh, yeah. Okay, no, they trampled me to get to him. Look, I hope you guys are gonna finally give this calendar thing a rest. Are you kidding? We're just getting started. We're gonna make an all-Christian calendar. A what? A hunk of the month calendar. Only Christian is the hunk every month. A what? You see, Winnie, each month, Christian will be... I got it, Ashley. 
Ashley. <laughs> but it ain't gonna happen. I'm not putting up with 12 months of this. No way, no how, uh-uh. Winnie, I hear what you're saying and I understand your point of view. So you're not gonna do it? Of course I'm gonna do it. I owe it to the people. <laughs> looking for you. What's wrong? I talked to Mr. Prey. You have to go to Chicago. It's the best place for you. The best place for me is here with you. I love hearing that. But we both know you're leaving. Is the right thing for you to do? Jackson, there's nothing you can say or do to make me change my mind. Look, you barely know me. I'm a creep. I've never been a one-woman guy. Oh, come on. I mean much more to you than that. All right, I might as well tell you the truth. When I thought you were leaving, I, I met somebody. You're not serious. Of, of course I am. What do you think I would do, sit around and not date? I don't believe you. But it's true. I, I want you to meet her. In fact, she's right down the hall. I'll go get her. Ashley, just listen. I have to get Catherine to go to Chicago. She has to go to that school. Pretend you're my new girlfriend. OK, but what's my name? I don't know. Buffy. Oh, Buffy. I love uh, that name. No, 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 no. She recognizes your accent. Not if I'm, like, from California. <laughs> Catherine, uh, this is Buffy. Hello, Buffy. Like, hi. <laughs> Don't you just love the Jackson man? He's, like, totally awesome. Yeah, awesome. Come on, Jackson. You promised you'd take me to the cafe. It's Terry Aki and I. <laughs> Want to join us, Catherine? No, thanks. I think I just lost my appetite. Bye. Bye. Thanks for helping out, Ashley. It was really hard. Whatever. You can stop now, Ash. Oh, sorry. Stand back. Give Miss Doctober some room. There's plenty of autographs to go around. <laughs> Maybe they didn't hear you. Would you like me to sign your calendar? But you've already signed my calendar. You've signed all of our calendars. But I missed October. October's over. So are you. <laughs> Look, there's Mr. November! Everything's a mess. Now we can't do the calendar and Winnie's mad at me. What am I gonna do? Oh, don't worry, big guy. You think of something? Let me know how it works out. <laughs> Hi, Christian. Good news, Winnie. Because of you, I've decided not to do the calendar. I've given it a lot of thought, and it just wouldn't be fair. Christian, I saw those girls dish you. They had something to do with it, too. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry for tripping and acting all jealous. Well, there's nothing to be jealous of. None of the girls are interested in me anymore. Well, I know one girl who is. Me! Oh, uh, Winnie. Mm -hmm. Catherine. Catherine. I almost didn't get a chance to say goodbye. I thought it'd be easier this way. I have a confession. About that girl. You mean Ashley? You knew? <laughs> I guess her accent was a little off. Like, totally. I only did that to convince you to go. I couldn't let you ruin your future by staying. I know that, too. And I love you for it. I'm gonna miss you, Catherine. I'm gonna miss you, too. That's my ride. I gotta go. Goodbye. Wait a minute. I'm not saying goodbye. Wait, don't tell me you changed your mind again. No, but why do we have to say goodbye? We can phone, we can write, email. You're right. Call me when you get there. I'm in Chicago? No, the airport. <laughs> <laughs>